snap is down. Kick by Robbie Gold. End over end to the uprights. Yeah. It is good. Robbie Gold. Robbie Gold is good again. Yeah. And the Bears have won the NFC Division of Playoff Game. Ah, those were the days. Robbie Gold is the Bears' all-time leading scorer. He recently retired after 18 seasons in the NFL, and he joins us uh, live now from Las Vegas, where he's there for the Super Bowl. There he is, Robbie Gold. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Good. How are you doing? Look at you. Recently retired, first year off in, God knows, in over 25 years. How have you been filling the time? What have you been up to? How is retirement going? Uh, retirement's been great. I've been uh, hanging out a lot with my family, uh, working on uh, some broadcasting opportunities, uh, just, you know, enjoying being back in the Chicago area and, and having a lot of fun. So uh, retirement's been great. Um, and now I'm sure we'll have fun with the journey. Yeah, it's unbelievable to look back at your career and your time here in Chicago. Would you say, for your time here in Chicago, would you say the turning point is when I had you dance with the Rockettes in Rosemont? <laughs> And you know, I just talked about that this morning. I was saying that was one of the first ever interviews I did, and I dressed up like the Rockettes. I did the whole oh, dance. You know, I didn't think at the time the YouTube would uh, eventually uh, make its way through a locker room, but you know that that's been a legendary video. So thank you for that. Have they have they really seen that in other places you've been? See, to me, I feel like this. It's is something definitely I did. made a team meeting or two. That's for sure. <laughs> Hey, I, I might have had to redo the routine too, just so you know. There, there's for a, there's every team you went, opportunity there to do it. Oh, you have to give me more specific. Everyone, you listen. You are a legend in at least the locker rooms I played in. <laughs> uh, hey, you know, let me. And we'll get. We'll get to you know what you're here to talk about in a second. But let me talk about these teams that are. Um, that are in the Super Bowl. I mean, you 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 saw kind of the rise of Brock Purdy in in San Francisco. You I mean, you were there in that that season. He kind of emerged. Were you at all? How surprised were you to see the kind of quarterback he he's become? Well, you're definitely not surprised by. It. You saw just his demeanor when he came in the locker room as a young, Mister Irrelevant, last guy in the draft pick, and um, he grasped the off offense really well. Uh, you know, he was a student of the game. Uh, and, and really that offense, he's a perfect fit for it because he's smart. Uh, he can make quick decisions. Uh, he applied himself to, to learning coverages in the game and w watching how people prepared. So uh, I, I'm super proud of him because I know how much hard work he put into it and, and how much of a competitor he is. And none of this shocks me by any means. Um, so, listen, what you see with Brock Purdy is he deserves to be mentioned among some of the best quarterbacks in the league, and it's a testament to what he's done over two years to prepare for that moment. And uh, Hopefully uh, he does a nice job in the Super Bowl. I'm sure you're paying attention like everybody else is to what the Bears do with the number one pick, uh, and I wonder if you have any thoughts about what they could or should do with that pick. Yeah, you can go a couple of different directions with that. You can keep Justin Fields and obviously uh, get Marvin. I think you can get Marvin Harris Jr. Uh, to pair with DJ Moore, or you trade it and get more first-round picks and, and build uh, some more draft capital, I'll say, uh, to get a couple more bodies on the offensive line. Uh, you know, I think Justin, you saw a lot of maturity from him this year. I think you saw a lot of growth. Uh, and I think that would continue if you do keep them. Uh, I also think that the league uh, in general is looking to find the guy uh, that doesn't cost $50 million unless he's an elite guy uh, because it allows you to develop your roster um, with uh, a lot of talent around guys. So, um, you know, I think the Bears are in a great situation uh, to be able to do – uh, a handful of different things and you know obviously the offseason will allow them to to go through that process and um, really make what i'll say an educated decision is for what the future of this team may look like wow. i'll tell you what that sounded like that sounded like a broadcaster right there that's what that sounded like to me <laughs> or a general a general manager you yeah, yeah there you go <laughs> you know and when i talk to you it's you know as much as I'd love to talk to you about football, when I think of Robbie Gold, there are two things I think of. I think of place kicking, and I think of DiGiorno's pizza. <laughs> and by God, if I don't talk to you about pizza, I'm going to never let myself live another day being able to think about this. 
Well, listen, you know, first of all, Pizza Friday is a big deal in my house. Uh, our kids and uh, our family, every Friday we, we get pizza. So it's pretty unique uh, for the second straight year. DiGiorno uh, is giving fans a chance to win free pizza. And I know this word of all words um, is, a, is a word that the uh, Chicago fan base doesn't really like. Um, but they're uh, doink. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what that is. The, 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 the doink. You don't, so, but we do. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, but um, it's pretty unique. So uh, if the ball hits the crossbar, the upright, um, fans can go uh, to DiGiornoDoinks.com and enter for a chance uh, to win pizza. So, you know, as much as you've seen in the playoffs that uh, kicking in the playoffs is pretty unpredictable and things happen on the field, it's unpredictable. Uh, I think it's one of those situations where uh, people can get ready for the big game with the uh, DiGiorno pizza. And I'm cheering for Doinks, but the uh, Doinks that go in, not Doinks that go out. There you go. Robbie, good seeing you. Um, you look great. And uh, I got the information for how to enter here. We appreciate you joining us for your chance to win. Uh, enter at DiGiornoDoinks.com. Uh, Robbie, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Good seeing you. All right. Bye-bye.